Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to set your Timex Ironman Classic Heart Rate Monitoring Watch. Now even if you get your watch in and you look at the screen and you see, hey, my day, my date, my time is all set correctly, you still want to go through these settings initially because there's some personal data values in here that will adjust your heart rate and your step tracking. So you want to go through and make sure all of your personal information is set correctly. We're going to walk through it. We're going to start by pressing and holding the top left button. If you press the top left button, it activates your backlight. If you press and hold it, it will take you into your settings mode. You'll know you're in your settings mode because you should start seeing your hour hand blinking and you will be on a screen that says hour. If you need to adjust the hour really on any of these screens, start and stop button, which is your top right button, will move the hour value up. The lap reset button will move it down. You're going to watch for the AM PM indicator too. You can see that mine's in 24 hour format. So if you're not in 12 or 20, Sorry, if you're not in 24-hour format, you'll want to make sure you've got it set accordingly for AM or PM. Once you've got your hour set, you're going to then use the mode button to move to your next value, which would be minutes. Again, you can do the same thing with minutes. You can use the start or stop to move it up, lap reset button to move it down. We're going to press the mode button again. It'll take us to our seconds. If you wanted to reset your second value, you could press either of the two buttons on the right, and it will reset your second value to zero. Press the mode button another time, it'll take us to our year. Again, we will use the buttons on the right to adjust our year. Mode button again will take us to our month. Again, we'll adjust that accordingly. Date. Here's where I mentioned the 12 or 24 hour format. Mine's currently in 24 hour format. You can simply toggle that between 12 or 24 hour format. Press the mode button one more time, you're going to get to a screen that says C-O-N-T. That's actually your screen contrast. You'll notice I can adjust the contrast display of my screen. If it's too dark, you want to make it lighter, you can do that. So I'm going to just set mine on 10. You'll see this uh, take form whenever we get out of the screen. Press the mode button one more time. It's going to ask you, how do you want your units displayed in terms of distance? Do you want miles? I'm going to go ahead and leave it on that. Your gender, male or female, your age. I'll go ahead and set mine. I should have mentioned you can press and hold either of the buttons on the right to move up quicker. Press the mode button one more time. You need to enter your height in inches. Press the mode button one more time and you can enter your weight. When you get done, it'll basically keep looping you through the settings. You'll notice after wait, it took me right back to the hour screen. I've successfully gone through and adjusted all of my settings on the watch. Now I'm just going to press and hold the top left button. And that will take me out of the settings and confirm the changes I've made. Now I'm ready to do other things like the heart rate tracking, look at my step counting, so on and so forth. Anyway, that's the basics of how you set the time and the personal values on your Timex Ironman Classic Heart Rate Monitoring Watch. I hope the video helps.